and beyond. We begin here in Nairobi. The Fort Kenya Party is currently holding a national delegates conference at the Bombers of Kenya in an exercise aimed at naming party leader and Bungoma Senator Moses Wetangula as the party's presidential flag bearer. This is despite a court order that stopped the party's two warring factions against holding delegates meetings. Our NTV's senior political affairs reporter Kennedy Muredi is live at the Bombers of Kenya and is now joining us live for more. Muredi, good afternoon. What exactly is happening there? Well, a very good afternoon to you, Zainab, there in our Nairobi studios. We, we were here at the Bombers of Kenya as early as 9 o'clock when delegates had already settled here at the Baraza Hall, one of the newly constructed halls at the Bombers of Kenya, and it has actually been turned into a crime scene. A few minutes ago, probably about 20 or 30 minutes ago, what has been able to happen is that we were able to see a huge crowd of delegates donned in green walking from this area and approaching a tent that has been placed on the other side of the Bombers of Kenya where the delegates of Ford Kenya were supposed to meet other delegates from the constituent parties of the One Kenya Alliance. And what we do understand, what we came to understand later on, is that they came out in droves after two bullets were, were, were actually rented the air in this particular room. I don't know whether we'll be allowed to get into this particular room because we're already seeing the police officers are in. And if my camera person, Shamason, will be able to come in, this was where the delegates had come and were meeting from as early as morning. And... Uh, I can see, uh, probably he will not be able to see, but I can see some small droplets of blood and what had happened. And at that particular place where we do understand is that that was the main dais where the leaders had, set, uh, had sat. And uh, what particularly happened, Zainab, is that we do understand that when it came to matters voting, there's a probability that uh, there, there might have been a list and somebody was trying to disrupt the meeting and that is when it happened one of the delegates was carrying a gun and they shot and in the shooting where we do understand uh, was shot up one of the bullets might have harm, harmed one of the other persons who was here and they were hurt on the on the on the shoulder we've been able to see this person as he was brought in a white pickup and in that white pickup they brought him straight into a St. John's ambulance that was waiting on the other side and probably uh, we were able to see this person as he was being attended to by the uh, by the by the St. John's uh, officers who are already there the police officers led by the uh, OCPD Langata have been on this matter and you can see they have just walked out of this place that has just been turned into a crime scene and all of them have gone into the other side as if nothing has been able to happen and we've already seen that in this particular matter we do not yet understand and probably the OSPD has told us to give him a few minutes so that he could be able to gather what has happened because his officers were on the ground. The suspect has already been taken out of this particular point. He has been taken by a waiting land cruiser, and we do understand that he has already been taken at the Langata police station. He is going to be questioned more whether he is a licensed firearm holder, holder and whether he is actually even um, an officer of the state. We do not know at this particular point why he was even allowed with a gun into a delegate's meeting. So these details we are gathering one and one but we have seen, I can confirm, I have seen by my own eyes that there was somebody who was brought in a white pickup helix and taken into one of the ambulances that was waiting there and we were told that he had been shot. There is different versions of what probably happened. There are some people who are saying there were three gunshots, others are saying two gunshots. But what also we do understand about today's function is that Moses Wetangula is today meeting National Delegates Conference of his Ford Kenya party and in the morning they had allowed us into this particular meeting and when they allowed us here we we heard Wetangula speak and he's 
rubbished the other side, the splinter group, saying that if they have not been able to take over the party until today, then he's going to make sure that he they are not going to take. I don't know whether we do have that particular bite to hear what he was saying about this particular meeting. Well, uh, we are keeping tabs and what we do understand is that the other principles of the One Kenya Alliance have already come into uh, the bombers of Kenya and they will be joining Moses Wetangula as they will be doing by way of acclamation after the party has already done so. They will be telling us or they will be doing it there where they will be saying, has Moses Wetangula been given the mantle? And he will probably be accepting it at that particular point. Another point that we do know is that earlier on, the splinter group led by Ofulawa Munyini also had a press conference and they say that today what is happening is an illegality as there is an existing court order. We are trying to piece up everything and we'll be giving you more details later in our subsequent bulletins. But right now, back to you, Zainab. All right, uh, Kennedy Murethi there at the Bombers of Kenya. The developments will be getting more details from Murethi, and as he says, indeed. Meanwhile, the other faction of the Ford Kenya party, as he said, has blamed Senator Wetangula for disobeying court orders and going ahead to hold the National Delegates Conference today. It was led by Kandui Member of Parliament of Fula Omunyini and his Tongaren counterpart, Dr. Eseli Simiu. The leaders have expressed their discontent and urged the public to take anything Wetangula says with a pinch of salt. Listen. Maybe they're just having a, 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 a get-together. Because if there's a court order against an NDC, you can't have an NDC. So I think uh, it's unfortunate that uh, the party has been uh, ensnared in court uh, matters for the last one and a half years. And that does not augur well for the party.